Hi, this is Mark with Safe Day Trading. Are you interested in learning how to effectively trade the market for real-time profits? Do you want to supplement your income today or for your retirement? Discover how simple it is to make three to five hundred dollars a day when you have the Safe Day Trading dot system. I want to make it easy for you. Go to SafeDayPodcast.com. Register for the free ebook, Your Fundamental Truth to Making Consistent Money Day Trading. Also, free Safe Day Trading mini course. Learn the truth about trading safely and profitably. And free eavesdrop trading session. Listen to us, trade live, and make real money daily. Follow the dot and make a lot. Remember, it's all free. See you at safedaypodcast.com. Hey, everybody. Today is February 24th, 2022. And it's uh, been a wild day, really. It's been uh, kind of crazy. Uh, Russia invaded Ukraine last night. And I got some numbers here I think you might find interesting. On the Dow last night, it closed at 33,086. This morning it opened at 32,382 and then moved up to 33,223. So $100, 100 points up, but it was uh, 800, 800 points down at one point. It was kind of crazy. Uh, oil uh, closed at 92. Yesterday opened at 100 this morning and now is at $93. Uh, again, uh, you know, those drops have just been kind of wild. Uh, really profitable if you're trading, and I hope you are trading. This is the time to really hone your skills. Um, gold um, last night closed at 1910, opened at 1974, and dropped down to 1899. So, uh, national or natural gas uh, closed at four dollars and fifty-eight cents last night. Opened at four dollars and eighty-three cents, and closed at four dollars and fifty-seven cents today. Now, this is just uh, just been a wild ride. The the uh, velocity of changes that are happening right now is kind of wild. Uh, and it's really a good opportunity for you to trade. Now, one of the things that you'll have to be aware of when you're trading with this big a swing is, is the volatility. And the volatility means is that, you know, um, a 40 or $50 stop loss is going to be difficult to keep because it's going to blow through that pretty quickly as, as, it, as it moves down or moves up. And with that volatility... You have to move your stop losses up. I've moved my stop losses up to sixty or seventy dollars, um, just to stay, try and stay in the trade. Uh, but you're looking at um, really, really uh, a lot of volatility here. So you've got to really kind of pick your trades. This is where the Jack Trademan trade comes in importantly because you can pick it, and if the Jack Trademan trade is correct and your pick is correct, it should just go in the direction you've chosen, uh, whether it's a buy or a sell, and really not a lot of uh, backsplash or, you know, coming back from that. So be aware of that. So the volatility here is going to be kind of wild. I think it's going to be kind of wild for the next couple of days um, as uh, this uh, Ukrainian thing that's going on. The other thing you need to know, be aware of is that um, the administration is closing down a lot of the uh, some of the drill sites and some of the pipelines that is going on. So there's an expectation now. I talked to a guy today that I I will uh, publish his interview in about two weeks, um, who's expecting to see uh, oil at around 120. Um, so we'll have to see what happens there. Also in March, uh, he's expecting or he'd like to see a a uh, 0.5 increase in the interest rates. It may be only 0.25, uh, but he thinks it has to be a 0.5 just to really kind of start getting everybody's attention. The uh, financial balance sheets of the feds is just a disaster. 
uh, with all the money they've been printing since uh, 2000, I think it's 2008, 2010. Um, so the balance sheet is just really screwed up. Uh, I don't know if they're going to be able to stop inflation. He expects the problems to continue for at least a year, maybe two years. I'm thinking more like three, probably through the 2024 election. Um, it's just been, uh, it's been an interesting situation. I hope you had a chance to see this and live with it um, in terms of, this was similar to what happened during the 9-11 uh, the thing. And uh, so you're really looking at uh, really wild swings, um, a lot of uh, variations, and, uh, you know, it's great to play it. I mean, you know, especially as the open came, we started trading at around 6.30 in the morning, Central Standard Time. And things were starting to drop at that point. Uh, you know, they had jumped up, and then they started to drop back down to maybe kind of normalize. And that was very profitable uh, in, in all segments. Um, also very profitable in the options as well. So you've got to be able to start thinking about playing down. I, I enjoy playing down. Um, I think I, I feel I can make money a lot faster playing down than playing up. And I don't think we're going to see, uh, well, we'll see oil, natural gas, and possibly gold go up. But I think the Dow is going to continue to drop and uh, probably to around 30,000. And uh, so we'll have to see what happens and uh, just plan on being profitable. What I would try and do is maybe look at maybe two to three trades in an hour for per instrument. I wouldn't trade any more than that, um, and I'd really be careful about my setups. Make sure you've got the perfect setup um, to trade, and also make sure you've got a stop loss that you feel is you know a little wide, but maybe is tight enough um, that you know if you make a hundred dollars but you've got a stop loss of 60 or $70, it's not going to be that painful for you. Uh, it's time to be careful. If you can't afford it to trade it with a stop that high, don't trade it, okay? Just watch it. Paper trade it. This is a great time to paper trade, um, and it's one of those, uh, you know, once in a decade type of situations for you to take a look at and paper trade. Hey, good luck, and I hope you're profitable. Talk to you later. Hey everybody, I want to mention too that we have a YouTube site called Safe Day Trading, which we show you trades that we make with the techniques that we use. You can also send me questions that you might have at mark at safedaytrading.org. Anyway, talk to you later.